Hello friends, my name is Farindra. Today I am going to say you topic about of Hukarere bankruptcy. This Hukarere bankruptcy was mainly uh, undergoes a cycle and this cycle was mainly discovered by Sir Patrick Manson. This Hukarere bankruptcy mainly belongs to the phylum Nematoda and mainly belongs to the class Fast Media. Fast Media. And it mainly causes by the two adult worms, male and female. Mail, uh, the structure of male adult worm will be anterior post will be apex pointed and posterior point will be slightly curved in this manner and the female female adult worm will be totally straight in manner and at the end, end of the female adult worm it mainly consists of female genital pore this female the function of the female genital pore is it mainly undergoes copulation the uh, in, this is known as structure of the adult worms now it mainly undergoes cycle it, the cycle undergoes in two, two stages one in man and another in mosquito first in man in man there, there, there will be two adult worms male and female these be, both mainly undergo copulation and mainly and mainly leads to the formation of microfilarial larva microfilarial larva the length of the microfilarial larva is 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters of length and at the daytime or at the daytime this microfilarial larva will enter into the blood vessels and, and from the blood vessels it, it will enter into the lymphatic vessels and from the lymphatic vessels it enter into the lymph finally it destroys the lymph as we know that lymph is one of the part of the blood next to this microfilarial larva will uh, uh, next to this microfilarial larva will be present uh, will be present in the lymphatic vessels which destroys the lymph now a fresh mosquito will suck will suck the blood of the human as we, as we know that uh, before the blood of the human is totally destroyed then with the microfilarial larva then the microfilarial larva will enter into the gut wall of the mosquito gut wall of the mosquito and gut wall of the mosquito and uh, sometimes the mosquito will die in 70 days because because uh, this microfilarial larva will not enter into the gut wall of the mosquito so it it mainly undergoes death and some mosquitoes will survive their life because their microfilarial larva will enter into the gut, mid gut wall so uh, the so the lib microvilla larva will mainly forms sheath and the sheath will be dissolved uh, dissolved outside due to there will be some enzymes present in this i have drawn here this oval shaped this oval shaped these are the enzymes which mainly helps you in the helps in the dissolvement of sheath and uh, when the sheath is dissolved the remaining part will enter into the hemocell of the mosquito then from then from the hemocell this microfilial larva will enter into the thoracic chambers of the mosquito and uh, at the thoracic chamber it mainly it mainly forms sausage shape like structure sausage shape is nothing but totally u shaped curve in this manner u shaped tot and this last two parts also will be joined together here it will join together this is known as sausage shaped in this manner totally u shaped it will join it will join here this is known as sausage shape. This is known as first stage larva. This first stage larva will undergo first molding and, and, and lead to the formation of second stage larva. And the second stage larva will undergo second molding and lead to the formation of third stage larva. And this third stage larva, uh, the larva in the third stage will be slender and long, very long than the microfilar larva. It will be very long than the microfilar larva and this larva will enter into the labium. Labium, the meaning of labium we can learn in uh, mouth parts of mosquito and this and again and again this mosquito which has infected with the microfilial larva will suck the blood will bite the mus will bite the fresh candidate of human will bite the fresh candidate of human and then the, the and then the fourth stage and it undergoes the formation of fourth stage larva by undergoing third molting and this fourth stage larva will undergo fourth molting and finally leads to the young ones like this again yellow to worms and totally cycle will be repeated again this is known as hukarera bankrafty this is known as hukarera bankrafty finally roughly we can say that the microfilial larva which is present in the hemocell will undergo first stage larva which is which i have said that uh, sausage shape like structure here sausage shape like structure and this sausage shape like structure undergoes first molding and leads to the formation of second stage larva and this second stage larva undergoes second molding and leads to the formation of third stage larva and this third stage uh, and and it will infect the man I have said here, fresh candidate of man. It will inf it infect a fresh candidate of man, and it undergoes third molting and leads to the formation of fourth stage larva. And this fourth stage larva undergoes fourth molting and leads to the formation of young ones. Young one means here.
adult worms nothing but male and female nothing but male and female this leads to the formation of a a disease known as elephantiasis elephantiasis is nothing but this one one leg will be thin and one leg will be leg uh, one leg will be fat like like for example in elephant totally totally fat and this disease hence name as elephantiasis thank you for watching this video